Hi everyone, it's Dr. Keenan and I'm here after completing day two of prolonged fasting mimicking diet. So how did things go for me? So let's review what I got to eat on day two. So again, I started my day at lunchtime and with my lunch, I started with the tomato soup mix. I really love tomatoes and tomato soup, so it was super tasty. Um, some people have added a little bit of hot sauce to the soup just to add a little bit more punch and a little bit more flavor. And then I had a pack of olives along with it and also I got to have my Prolon bar. So that was a great way to start my day out. And I really enjoyed this. So yesterday I showed you how to mix it up. Um, it's the, the glycerol that you have. And when you put the hibiscus tea bags in the bottle, you'll find it gives an amazing pink color. And you know, it's just always fun to drink something that's a little bit pink. So mid-afternoon I was feeling that I needed a little bit of a snack and there was a snack provided and these were the olives with a hint of garlic. Super tasty and then for the evening meal I had what was new is the butternut squash and quinoa soup mix. So um, this was super tasty. It does contain quinoa so it required a little bit longer cooking and I think it was about 10 minutes that you keep it going on the stove. I like it because of the flavor but also because of the texture. It's, um, the quinoa gives you that little bit of a, of a chewiness, which is something that you start to miss when you're not chewing food a lot on a regular basis. And then also last night it did come with the Choco Crisp Bar, and that was the first time I had the Choco Crisp Bar, and I really enjoyed it. Um, you can break it apart into little pieces. It's actually super, super sweet. You can even see the little chocolate chips inside it. Um, but it, again, the way that it's designed, it's got the nuts, it's got the micronutrients, everything that we need to help us as we're fasting with food. So overall, day two went really well. I was feeling uh, great, and I think that you're gonna have no problem getting through on day two. So now let's begin day three. So day three is when our body is really starting to move more into the ketosis phase, and I'll show you a little bit about the foods that I'm gonna be experiencing on day three. So again, um, you can start with breakfast or with lunch, and it starts with the Pro Lawn Bar. And then for lunch, I'll be having the butternut squash soup mix, which is the same soup from day one. And then also I'll get to have the kale crackers again, which is nice because I am missing that little bit of a crunch. So this I'm gonna be having for my lunch because I delay my first meal. And then for supper this evening, it's the white bean and spinach soup mix. So remember, everything in Prolon like I said, is plant-based. So we've got beans here, we've got spinach, and we've got lots of herbs that have been added to the package. And this is because these all contain all of those essential micronutrients that we, we require. And what you'll notice is missing on this day is there's no olives on day three. Now, that might be a plus or a minus for you, but there's no olives on that day. And then also I get to have a packet of my vitamins and then there's two more packets. There's a lemon tea and a spearmint tea. Uh, I've had some of the teas, not all of them. Generally, the tea is meant to be there to give you something to sip on. Uh, you know, for me, like I've said, I've done um, keto, I've done intermittent fasting before, so I'm really not missing food all that much. But for those that have never done any type of fasting before, it can be really tough. So having a hot beverage to sip on uh, gives you something to kind of do with your, your thoughts about food as you go throughout the day. So that's it for uh, day two prep, or day, day two being finished, and day three preparation. And I'll see you all again at the end of day three. Take care. Bye for now.